No matter what kind of art you might be interested in, you've got to find the time to pursue it. Well, if you've got jobs, kids, it can be hard to find that time. But what if you could go to your own Art Night Out, a three-hour intensive session taught by an art professional? That's what happens most nights of the week here on busy Cottage Road in South Portland at Artiscope. Let's see what they're doing tonight. Here we go, Studio 2. Ah, here we go. Uh, this must be Catherine. How are you? Good, how are you? Ah, very well, thanks. This thanks. is a very interesting situation you got going on Thank here. You. I understand that you can come for just one night and get everything you need. That's exactly right, Lou. Tell us about it. Well, we decided that art classes are sometimes difficult to get to, mm -hmm. and um, so we wanted to make them accessible to everyone. So these art classes only take three hours. You don't have to bring anything with you. Just show up um, right after work or, you know, after you left the kids at home. Have a great night out, and you go home with something beautiful that you made. And a new skill. Yes, that's true. That's tremendous. How long have we been doing it now? We've been doing it um, in this full location for about a year and a half, mm -hmm. and then we did a lot before that just upstairs. Yeah, you have a store on this side, and yes. you have uh, studios. I saw the sign Studio 2 and all. We have five separate media rooms. Wow. So we have a glass studio, we have a jewelry studio. Upstairs we have a paper studio, mm -hmm. a painting and printmaking studio, and also a fiber studio. How often are you offering the classes? Well, we do Art Night Out program 18 classes a month. Um, and then we also have longer format classes, artist series classes, and we have all sorts of other things, workshops, private parties, things that come in. But the Art Night Out program is the core program, and it's the thing that attracts the most people. Mm -hmm. And what, what it is is that it fits into your life, and you don't have to buy everything and be prepared. Um, you just show up and we give you a good time. Hi, how are you? Evening. Good, how are you? Good, well, we were just wanting to register for the class. Oh, wait, that's so nice. Thank you. Great. So what's the, what's the, the most uh, unique facet of the whole program? The collaboration of artists. It's a great community. Mm -hmm. And I think that's really what people are looking for. You know, they're interested in learning a skill, but being around other artists is so inspiring. So that's why people come here. Now, I understand you have a uh, class going on right now? Yeah, we do. We have a class in mail art. It's a really fun class. It's with our teacher, Diane Brakely. Would mail you like art. to take a look? Sure. Okay. <laughs> mail art, okay. <laughs> so mail art is um, the old-fashioned art of mailing things. And they take fun papers and turn them into envelopes. And so it's a really great thing oh, to get okay. from your friend. We get pretty art. We got lots of stuff. And, and this is the mail art. Oh, yeah. Oh, is it making uh, envelopes and, and things like that? I, I don't, don't quote me, but I thought it was only oh, fun that's stuff. tremendous. Fun stuff to send to your friends. I love it. Old fashioned. Well, is this about uh, a, a standard size class? Yes, it is. Usually we have six to ten people in a class. And then you, they'll be here for three hours? They'll be here for three hours and everything's included. Mm -hmm. So, and, and you get to take these home with you, of course. You take everything home and you even get a snack while you're here. We usually serve wine and we have some treats while you're here. So it's a really fun social night. Yeah. That sounds like a great idea. I'm sure it's going to explode on you, but thanks very much for having us by. Thank you. And good luck. All right. Well, there you have it, whether it's an art night out in South Portland or an original oil painting of Mount Katahdin from up in Millinocket or an intimate concert in a brownfield barn or how about an international culture pass from the Tides Institute? It all has to do with the arts, and it's all made in Maine. Now remember, you can get any information you need about any of our shows, any of our programming for that matter, at mpbn.net. This is Lou McAlley. Hope you enjoyed the show. Join us again next time, won't you, for another edition of Made in Maine. <laughs>